CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 2 Whole Numbers Part 2 Page 34 Commutativity of Addition and Multiplication What do the following number line diagrams say? We have two line diagrams, both with numbers marked from 0 to 5. In both the cases, we reach 5, in the first one from 3 to 5, and in the second one from 2 to 5. So, 3 plus 2 is same as 2 plus 3. Similarly, 5 plus 3 is same as 3 plus 5. Again, we have two line diagrams both with numbers from 0 to 8. In the first one, we jump from 5 to 8, and in the second one, from 3 to 8. Try it for 4 plus 6 and 6 plus 4. Is this true when any two whole numbers are added? Check it. You will not get any pair of whole numbers for which the sum is different when the order of addition is changed. You can add two whole numbers in any order. We say that addition is commutative for whole numbers. This property is known as commutativity for addition. Page 35 Discuss with your friends. You have a small party at home. You want to arrange six rows of chairs with eight chairs in each row for the visitors. The number of chairs you will need is 6 multiplied by 8. You find that the room is not wide enough to accommodate rows of 8 chairs. You decide to have 8 rows of chairs with 6 chairs in each row. How many chairs do you require now? Will you require more number of chairs? Next to this we have two pictures showing the arrangement of chairs. The first one shows six rows of eight chairs which are not enough to fill in the room. The second one has eight rows of six chairs. Is there a commutative property of multiplication? Multiply numbers 4 and 5 in different orders. You will observe that 4 multiplied by 5 is equal to 5 multiplied by 4. Is it true for the numbers 3 and 6, 5 and 7 also? You can multiply two whole numbers in any order. We say multiplication is commutative for whole numbers. Thus, addition and multiplication are commutative for whole numbers. Verify. 1. Subtraction is not commutative for whole numbers. Use at least three different pairs of numbers to verify it. 2. Is 6 divided by 3 same as 3 divided by 6? Justify it by taking few more combinations of whole numbers. Associativity of addition and multiplication. Observe the following diagrams. A. In brackets, 2 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. Next to this, we have a diagram showing 5 balls in one box and 4 balls in the next. B. 2 plus, in brackets, 3 plus 4 is equal to 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. Next to this, we again have a diagram. The first box shows two balls and then we have a box with seven balls. In A above, you can add two and three first and then add four to the sum. And in B, you can add three and four first and then add two to the sum. Are not the results same? We also have, in brackets, 5 plus 7 plus 3 is equal to 12 plus 3 is equal to 15 and 
5 plus, in brackets, 7 plus 3 is equal to 5 plus 10 is equal to 15. So, in brackets, 5 plus 7 plus 3 is equal to 5 plus, in brackets, 7 plus 3. Page 36. This is associativity of addition for whole numbers. Check it for the numbers 2, 8 and 6. Notice how we grouped the numbers for convenience of adding. Example 1. Add the numbers 234, 197 and 103. Solution. 234 plus 197 plus 103 is equal to 234 plus, in brackets, 197 plus 103, which is equal to 234 plus 300, which is equal to 534. Play this game. You and your friend can play this. You call a number from 1 to 10. Your friend now adds to this number any number from 1 to 10. Then it is your turn. You both play alternately. The winner is the one who reaches 100 first. If you always want to win the game, what will be your strategy or plan? Below this we have a picture in a box of a boy and a girl. Both are thinking about numbers and are trying to win the game. Observe the multiplication fact illustrated by the diagrams here. We have two figures here, figure A and B. Both have few boxes with dots in them. Figure A has four boxes and in each box we have three rows of two dots each. In figure B we have two boxes and each box has four rows of three dots each. Count the number of dots in figure 2.1a and figure 2.1b. What do you get? The number of dots is the same. In figure 2.1a, we have 2 multiplied by 3 dots in each box. So the total number of dots is 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4, which is equal to 24. In figure 2.1b, each box has 3 multiplied by 4 dots. So in all there are 2 multiplied by, in brackets, 3 multiplied by 4, which is equal to 24 dots. Thus, within brackets, 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by, within brackets, 3 multiplied by 4. Similarly, you can see that, in brackets, 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 is equal to 3 multiplied by, in brackets, 5 multiplied by 4. Try this for, within brackets, 5 multiplied by 6, multiplied by 2, and 5 multiplied by, in brackets, 6 multiplied by 2. In brackets, 3 multiplied by 6, multiplied by 4, and 3 multiplied by, in brackets, 6 multiplied by 4. This is associative property for multiplication of whole numbers. Page 37. Think on and find. Which is easier and why? A. In brackets, 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 3 or 6 multiplied by, in brackets, 5 multiplied by 3. B. In brackets, 9 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 25 or 9 multiplied by, in brackets, 4 multiplied by 25. Example 2. Find 14 plus 17 plus 6 in two ways. Solution. In brackets, 14 plus 17 plus 6 is equal to 31 plus 6 is equal to 37. 14 plus 17 plus 6 is equal to 14 plus 6 plus 17, which is equal to, in brackets, 14 plus 6 plus 17, which is equal to 20 plus 17, which is equal to 37. Here, you have used a combination of 
associative and commutative properties for addition. Do you think using the commutative and the associative property has made the calculation easier? The associative property of multiplication is very useful in the following types of sums. Try these. Find 7 plus 18 plus 13, 16 plus 12 plus 4. Example 3. Find 12 multiplied by 35. Solution. 12 multiplied by 35 is equal to, in brackets, 6 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 35, which is equal to 6 multiplied by, in brackets, 2 multiplied by 35, which is equal to 6 multiplied by 70, which is equal to 420. In the above example, we have used associativity to get the advantage of multiplying the smallest even number by a multiple of 5. Example 4. Find 8 multiplied by 1769 multiplied by 125. Solution. 8 multiplied by 1769 multiplied by 125 is equal to 8 multiplied by 125 multiplied by 1769. What property do you use here? In brackets, 8 multiplied by 125 into 1769, which is equal to 1000 into 1769, which is equal to 17,69,000. Try these. Find 25 multiplied by 8,358 multiplied by 4. 625 multiplied by 3,759 multiplied by 8. Think, discuss and write. Is, in brackets, 16 divided by 4 divided by 2 equal to 16 divided by, in brackets, 4 divided by 2. Is there an associative property for division? No. Discuss with your friends. Think of, in brackets, 28 divided by 14 divided by 2 and 28 divided by, in brackets, 14 divided by 2. Do this. Distributivity of multiplication over addition. Take a graph paper of size 6 cm by 8 cm, having squares of size 1 cm by 1 cm. Page 38. How many squares do you have in all? We see the picture of a graph paper with lots of squares. Next to it we have the picture of the graph paper being cut by a scissor. Is the number 6 by 8? Now cut the sheet into two pieces of sizes 6 cm by 5 cm and 6 cm by 3 cm as in the figure. Below this we have the two cut pictures of the graph paper in the given sizes. Number of squares. Is it 6 multiplied by 5? Number of squares in the second picture. Is it 6 multiplied by 3? In all, how many squares are there in both the pieces? Is it, in brackets, 6 multiplied by 5 plus, in bracket, 6 multiplied by 3? Does it mean that 6 multiplied by 8 is equal to, in brackets, 6 multiplied by 5 plus, in brackets, 6 multiplied by 3? But 6 multiplied by 8 is equal to, 6 multiplied by, in brackets, 5 plus 3. Does this show that 6 multiplied by in brackets 5 plus 3 is equal to, in brackets 6 multiplied by 5 plus, in brackets 6 multiplied by 3. Similarly, you will find that 2 multiplied by, in brackets 3 plus 5 is equal to, in brackets 2 multiplied by 3 plus, in brackets 2 multiplied by 5. This is known as 
distributivity of multiplication over addition. Find using distributivity 4 multiplied by in brackets 5 plus 8, 6 multiplied by in brackets 7 plus 9, 7 multiplied by in brackets 11 plus 9. Think, discuss and write. Observe the following multiplication and discuss whether we use here the idea of distributivity of multiplication over addition. 425 multiplied by 136 is equal to 2550. 425 multiplied by 6. This is multiplication by 6 ones. 12750. 425 multiplied by 30 multiplication by 3 tens 42500 425 multiplied by 100 multiplication by 100 57800 425 multiplied by in bracket 6 plus 30 plus 100 page 39 Example 5. The school canteen charges 20 rupees for lunch and 4 rupees for milk for each day. How much money do you spend in 5 days on these things? Solution. This can be found by two methods. Method 1. Find the amount for lunch for 5 days. Find the amount for milk for 5 days. Then add, that is, Cost of lunch is equal to 5 multiplied by 20, which is equal to 100 rupees. Cost of milk is equal to 5 multiplied by 4, which is equal to 20 rupees. Total cost is equal to 100 plus 20, which is 120 rupees. Method 2. Find the total amount for one day. Then multiply it by 5. That is, cost of in brackets, lunch plus milk for one day is equal to, in brackets, 20 plus 4 rupees. Cost for five days is equal to, 5 multiplied by, in brackets, 20 plus 4 rupees, which is equal to, in brackets, 5 multiplied by 24 rupees, which is equal to 120 rupees. The example shows that, 5 multiplied by, in brackets 20 plus 4 is equal to in brackets 5 multiplied by 20 plus in brackets 5 multiplied by 4. This is the principle of distributivity of multiplication over addition. Example 6. Find 12 multiplied by 35 using distributivity. Solution. 12 multiplied by 35 is equal to 12 multiplied by in brackets, 30 plus 5, which is equal to 12 multiplied by 30 plus 12 multiplied by 5, which is equal to 360 plus 60, which is equal to 420. Example 7. Simplify. 126 multiplied by 55 plus 126 multiplied by 45. Solution. 126 multiplied by 55 plus 126 multiplied by 45 is equal to 126 multiplied by, within brackets, 55 plus 45, which is equal to 126 multiplied by 100, which is equal to 12,600. Try these. Find 15 multiplied by 68, 17 multiplied by 23, 69 multiplied by 78 plus 22 multiplied by 69 using distributive property. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by C-I-E-T-N-C-E-R-T, New Delhi, India.